welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin. And right now we're focused on dividing fractions using the length model. Now remember the length model of fractions means that we can show fractions according to their length. So we're gonna really think about how fractions fall on a number line. We could draw a number line, but we could also use manipulatives like Cuisinier rods and fraction tiles. And I'm gonna use the fraction tiles to do this problem right here. 5 6 divided by 1 3rd. Now the interpretation of this problem is really important to explain to students. So I want us to think about how many groups of 1 3rd can we make when we have 5 6. So remember, how many groups of 1 3rd can we make when we have 5 6? So let's see what this might look like with manipulatives. So we're dividing 5 6 by 1 3rd. So I want to figure out how many groups of 1 3rd I have uh, when I make 5 6. So I'm going to get out my whole and I'm going to show my 5 1 6 pieces here. All right. Now remember, I asked how many groups of uh, 1 3rd can I make if I have 5 6? So I'm going to get out my 1 3rd piece. If I had 2 thirds, I would just kind of group them together there. But right now I just have 1 3rd. And I'm going to figure out how many groups I can make with this 1 3rd piece. So let's see. I can make one full group of one third. I can make a second full group of one third. So right now, that tells me that I can at least make two groups. Now let's look at this next group. Can I make a full group of one third? No. But how much of a group of one third can I make? Now this is where it's really tricky. Don't look at these numbers right now that are printed on these fraction tiles. And in fact, it might be easier if I turn them over like that. So how much of this group of one-third can I make? We can make one half of this one-third group. So I can make one half of the next group of one-third. Let me show you how we did that again. We asked how many groups of one-third can we make? We can make one full group, a second full group, and then one half of the next group. So when I have 5 sixths and we divide 5 sixths into groups of 1 third, how many groups can we make? We can make two and one half groups. So that was an example of how we can divide fractions, and there we use the length model. We have some other sessions uh, related to our Stair Tailored program where you can see uh, us do this with the area model and do it with the set model. I hope you'll tune in.